good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, Mario Brothers music. So, guys, it seems to be very tough right now in America. I was talking to brother SPK, and he was like, yo, man, everything in America is getting crazy. It's so bad that they're literally putting wires around me. And I didn't believe him until they sent me, he sent me this particular picture here. I was like, wow, people in America are stealing meat so bad that they need to actually do stuff like that. He was like, yeah, bro, it's that bad. Press one in the comment section if you see this also. But anyways, um, I, I've seen a lot more violence happening in my hometown of Sacramento, California. Um, I know it's, I noticed that it's been getting um, you know pretty bad all over the country, and that's despite having like so many cameras and knowing what's going on and all of that. But still, it's still been terrible, right? But one of the things I never thought about was um, you know violence towards let's say IG models are are even strippers. Um, I was shocked just when. Um, three weeks ago, there was an IG model that was shot in Atlanta. And if you guys remember, this happened in May. Let's play that clip if you don't remember. We are learning more about an Uber passenger shot and killed in Buckhead. And police are telling 11 Alive that they believe that that woman was actually targeted and her killer is still on the loose. 11 Alive, Bo Beth Yates is live close to where it took place on Lindbergh. So, Bo Beth, what's the latest? Well, Ron, we found out the shots were fired at this intersection behind me. In fact, that second lane right there. And as police investigate, they're asking anyone with information to come forward. It was rapid fire. It looks like she went down to the floor for cover. Jahari Humbles described the shooting scene at the intersection of Lindbergh and Adina Drive. You could see that, you know, something pretty bad had happened in there was one person that didn't survive. According to Atlanta Police Department, officers arrived on scene to find a person shot in a black Escalade being used as an Uber. We're told the passenger who was in the back of that vehicle was struck multiple times after a car drove up next to it and began firing into the vehicle. This appears to be a targeted incident. As you can see the number of shell casings, uh, there were multiple uh, shooters. Uh, but again, we just don't have a whole lot to give out right now. Police have not released the victim's name, but neighbors identify her as Tisha Brody and said she moved from Guyana with her brother. It turns out she only lives in the next block, so she is less than a block away from home. I think they just caught her at the red light. It looks like that she was ambushed. Police also tell me the driver of the Uber was not injured. And again, they're asking anyone with information to come forward. The number to Crime Stoppers is 404-577-TIPS. Live in Buckhead, Bo Beth Yates, 11 Alive News. And Bo Beth, hopefully someone will come forward. Thanks a lot for the update. By the way, folks, we're going to stay on top of the story, bring you any new details on air and online at 11alive.com. So that was Tavi Batty, the young lady who was fatally shot in Atlanta. But guys, this is something that happened um and we can't show i'll put like some screenshots right because the video is on say cheese tv there were some ladies who came to all-star weekend and i mean listen you know bt weekend is also a good weekend apparently to make some money i thought it was just all-star weekend but bt weekend is going hard because everybody is there i know some brothers from uganda that's in the entertainment industry they was in la for bt weekend and hopefully I can take my broke ass out there too. Stop the show. I hope y'all don't rob me. But um, there were some young ladies that, that were getting into a, um, 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 a building and they had some cash, right? Two guys came, robbed them of their booty. Stop the show. Not the booty that you think of. Booty actually means um, money too. Uh, like when you take their, their, their goods. Like in the army, if you loot, you get their, their booty, right? It's not in the backside, but they, they didn't like take their booty booty, but they, they took their booty, meaning that their booty, um, you know, what they had, their their loots, their spoils, their prize, they took that stolen goods. That was the booty they were, they, they were taking. And um, it just, and, and think about it, the ladies worked hard for it and it's cash. So it's not like, you know, you can, because people, people be throwing ones and all that, but it just kind of makes me, but you know, I, I want to deal with, this whole situation with even when you hear about what happened in Dubai, where the guys are like, can I get like some, um, <laughs> where, you know, there's like uh, those poop shows that happen. And then those girls come back and, you know, they're trying to, uh, they can't claim the money. They're trying to bring it back to America. 
and they now have fifty thousand dollars, and then they, you know, you can't leave with that much money, and then they, they confiscate, so they come back with nothing after getting pooped on all the time. Can I get some farting uh, uh, effects, please? <laughs> so yeah, and, and the thing is that these goons are out to get everybody. Back in the day, it was just robbing. You know, back in the day, you're in the business of robbing other drug dealers, which that makes more sense to rob drug dealers if you're in the streets, right? Let's just rob the drug dealers or, you know, whoever else. But now they're coming after strippers, which that's something I would have never been able to predict um, a few years ago. I would never thought like, yo, these guys are gonna really be, you know, like y'all are that thirsty to rob women. Like that's crazy, but that's the, that's the America we're in now. And they're, and guys, they're doing it all on camera. Like, again, you, you see the meat has cages on it. And it's, they talk about, you know, like Uganda or Africa and Nigeria's poor, like you go to care for or shop, right? You, you just don't see stuff like that. You know, I, I, I just can't see like IG models or somebody like that afraid to go outside because they're gonna get robbed that night. Now it could happen, but people are doing it at gunpoint. Now just imagine if they didn't want to give up the money, could they have been shot? Hell yeah, they could have been shot. This is California, this is LA. If one thing Americans can do is shoot, you know what I mean? And um, I know guys are gonna be saying, well, if they get for thought it up. Listen, it's a business, right? It's a business. And if those girls got that money, and they 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 should have got it. It it shouldn't be where they should lose their money. I just think that America is really getting bad, y'all. It is getting bad. Um, I talk to my mom about it quite often, and um, she says it's really getting terrible in America. Um, like just shootings everywhere, killings everywhere, robberies everywhere, and people don't mind going to jail and I don't understand because the economy is supposed to be getting better things are supposed to be getting better but you know what it just it seems like it doesn't really matter and um and I like I was saying man you know a lot of you brothers out there with a lot of this flossing I'm even seeing youtubers um getting robbed uh, I forgot the one brother CJ so cool I mean this guy got shot in his own house because he was carrying money you know what I mean? Like, it's just crazy. So people are out trying to, you know, get you, bro. If you got the money, if, 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 if you're a woman, you got the money at, at first, it was okay. The woman stunt. Listen, nobody is, <laughs> is stunting no more, man. Like people are out to get you. So I think people need to be well aware of that people are hungry. You know, everybody don't want to work and, you know, stripping it is work. Booty bouncing is work. Um, stop the show. I, I do enjoy uh, watching the booty bounce. I'm not gonna lie, but uh, it's work, right? And um, you know, like I said, man, it's just, you gotta watch your back family. These people are crazy as shit. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Which is your fault that you do, scrape it the bell, we're out. Yeah, yeah.